Okay, I'm going to talk about the Jet Lights A51 LED light. Okay, this is this is a revolution. You guys are looking at a revolution right here. Jet Lights is one of the oldest companies in the business. You know, when MTBR started, I met Jim Taylor um, locally, and he told me about his company, and he just manufactured the best halogen bulbs and got into HIDs, and it was awesome. Um, but then they stayed with HIDs forever. Up until this light, they didn't have an LED. You know, um, they've had a couple of issues. Um, they wanted to perfect. Jim wanted to perfect uh, LED technology first, battery technology. He passed away. The company uh, transferred hands um, to David, the new guy, and he been working on this for a couple of years. And finally, I saw him at Kirkwood, and he was so excited to show me his product. So, so here it is. Um, and the funny thing is while talking to him, he mentioned Magic Shine like three or four times. And I go, well, why is that such a big deal? He goes, because Magic Shine changed the industry. He, he felt he needed to build a light that was competitive at that light level under 200 bucks. You know, no one can really match 85 bucks and be reliable and, 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 and feed a, uh, and build a company out here for it. But under 200 bucks, he thought, and if he had something to offer, he thought people would listen and buy your product. So this is what he came up with. 199, 700 lumen light, um, made in the USA. And once you see it, you'll be happy. Aluminum. Just a beautiful uh, reflector, has a Cree emitter, nice switch, connector, I forgot what these are called, but these are world class, um, weatherproof connectors that are screw in. So I think it's about 95 grams for this head, head unit, so uh, still super light, but it's got a beautiful beam pattern. And it's bright, you know. It's an honest 700 lumens. The battery. They didn't. Um, they don't screw around with the battery. Both of them have a, a year warranty. By the way. Very good batteries, pretty light, and a smart charger. You know, a charger that shut, that charges it properly, shuts off properly. A couple hundred charges later, you're still okay. And you know. You can save money now, but in two years, will that light still work? Uh, David doesn't think so, <laughs> but he, he built one that does. So let me uh, show you the light and a couple other things. So that's the charger. So this is the light. Let me just turn it on and the drama. It's got a beautiful spot and a huge halo, very clean beam pattern. Two modes, flash. Um, and then look at this thing, look at the um, handlebar mount. It's just beautiful materials on it. Just super reliable, it center mounts the light. You can aim it. And um, the other thing that's really cool is this helmet mount. It's got a nice helmet mount. You set it, slide the light in. But um, I won't show you right now, but when, uh, when you crash, uh, this whole top part breaks away. You know, after so many pounds of pressure, It'll just break off. It'll snap off. Not break off. It'll snap off, and you can snap it back in. Why is that important? Because when you're when you crash and you're kind of rolling down the hill, your helmet snags. You don't want to twist your neck and break your neck. Um, Jim Taylor and David felt really strongly about this. Design a system that's going to break the light off and save your important part. Save you from neck injury. So the fact that they were thinking about you know, those things, I'm pretty impressed with them.
So there you go. Jet Lights A51, 199. He said they made the, a first batch completely sold out um, right away, and uh, they should have, should have a new um, inventory uh, November uh, or end of October, early November. So there you go.